Greetings. Welcome to Petaga Technologies official YouTube channel. In this video, we will see how to calculate running total in Power BI using Power BI DAX functions and creating matrix visual and column chart using output of running total. What is running total? Running total is the summation of a sequence of numbers. It updates each time by adding the value of the new number to the previous running total. We will see some examples. In this normal table example, we have multiple days and the sales amount for each day. In this running table example, we have multiple days and the sales amount of each day but difference between these two table is in normal table sales amount are separated for each day but in running total table from day to sales amount are added with previous day sales amount import excel source data we have successfully imported Excel data into Power BI desktop in source data. We have two columns, first column named as month and it contains different dates and second column named as sales amount and it contains sales amount for each day. We are going to calculate running total for the source data by applying DAX function in Power BI measure. What is measure? Measure is a calculated field in Power BI DAX. It used in aggregation calculations such as sum, average, minimum, maximum, count and more advanced level calculations made using DAX formula. We will see some examples. Here we have examples like total sales, total salaries, average quantity, sales, salaries, quantity and so on. These are the names of the measures. Now let's see how to create a new measure. We will create a new measure to write DAX functions. To create new measure go to toolbar above and select the new measure which is located in calculations group. Now we have created the measure, we have to rename that measure for our comfortable. We have renamed the new measure as running total and you can see the new measure in source data under the field section. Now we will use calculate DAX function. In running total measure, we will create DAX function start with calculate DAX function. What is DAX function? And the syntax of calculate DAX function is calculate open bracket and in first parameter we need to input the expression and in second parameter we have to provide some filter conditions and close the bracket. The definition of calculate DAX function is it evaluates an expression in a context that is modified by the specified filters. Sum DAX function. Inside of calculate DAX function, we will use sum DAX function and I have selected the sales amount column from monthly sales table to some sales amount for all days. What is sum DAX function and the syntax of sum DAX function is sum open bracket and you can select the column from the source data and close the bracket. Sum DAX function returns the sum of all the numbers in a selected column. Filter DAX function with calculate and sum DAX function, we will use filter DAX function to filter the data. 
what is filter dax function and the syntax of filter dax function is filter open bracket and in first parameter you need to input the table and in second parameter input the filter conditions required filter dax function returns a table that represents a subset of another table or expressions all dax function first we will remove filter in month column from monthly sales table if any applies to remove filter applied in month column we use all dax function and select the month column from the source data and close the bracket what is all dax function and the syntax of all dax function is all open bracket and we can select either table or column in first parameter and in second parameter and third parameter we can select the columns all dax function returns all the rows in a table or all the values in a column ignoring any filters that might have been applied this function is useful for removing filters and creating calculations on all the rows in a table filter plus all function is remove the filter from the month column next one is max dax function now we will apply the filter condition month column value should be less than or equal to maximum numeric value of month column we will close the complete function with three closing brackets what is max dax function and the syntax of max dax function is max open bracket and you can select any column and closing the bracket max dax function returns the largest numeric value in a column applying new filter criteria using max function to decide the last date in the month column we will see step by step coding for calculating normal total we use total sales equal to sum open bracket and we will select the sales amount column from the sales table but for calculating cumulative total we use calculate open bracket and select the total sales table and we will use filter function within that filter function we will use all function to remove the filters in selected table and we will provide the filter condition like calendar table date column should be less than or equal to maximum of date column we use the all function in the filter table to remove the filter context this allows the calculate function to look to the earliest date in the data set and it will sum the cumulative total sales up to the current date the current date is calculated with the max function we will create a matrix visual using running total measure in power bi desktop we will create a new matrix visual in power bi desktop we have selected matrix visual from visualization section and dragged month from source data and placed it in row section and dragged sales amount and running total measure from source data and placed it in value section after placing the data in proper way now matrix visual looks like this in first column we can see the date of sales in second column we can see sales amount in normal way and in third column we can see running total in running total column from row to sales amount values are adding with the previous day sales amount and displaying the running total in matrix visual by using this data we will create a clustered column chart to visualize the data in chart format we will create a column chart 
we have selected clustered column chart from visualization section and dragged month from source data and placed it in axis section and dragged sales amount and running total measure from source data and placed it in values section after placing the data in proper way now clustered column chart visual looks like this in x axis we can see various dates and for each date we can see sales amount and running total with the respective values if this video is useful to you like this video and share this video with your friends that's all for this video thanks for watching to get notifications subscribe to this channel and activate bell icon